Okay, somebody sent me an email that they wanted something a lot shorter. So let me show you the properties one more time of D3O. If you hit it, it gets harder. So if you fall when you're wearing one of these jackets, um, it maintains the property of rubber, it bounces. Uh, D3O is in this state, it's gonna be gooey. And if you heat it up, it'll get hard and become one of those protective get vests that you see in the jackets that we sell from Armadillo. They're using it in everything from iPod protectors to uh, helmets now. It's pretty cool stuff. Even shoes are using D3O. Now, if you put it on the edge over here, you're going to see it melt and it will become goo in like two seconds. So this is the quick version of the other video I just put up. It is going to go in slow rates of motion. It's going to get thinner and thinner, and it's going to go towards gravity. It's just going to end up on the ground. Does it qualify as a non-Newtonian fluid? Probably, except that they call it intelligent molecules. It's definitely not cornstarch. Uh, cornstarch, if you heat it up, it becomes a pancake. It doesn't become uh, a vest protector or a back protector. Uh, this doesn't leave a residue. Uh, if, you run, if you see those videos of people running through the pools full of cornstarch, uh, that leaves a residue on your skin. You can touch D3O all you want. It doesn't leave any grease or anything. Um, doesn't leave any residue on your finger. Doesn't leave anything. Now, if you push it, it's very soft, and you can go right through it. You can pull on it, and it's gooey. If you leave it alone, it's going to melt and end up in the floor in about 10 seconds. So... D3O is definitely interesting. So sl slow rates of movement, it just does its own thing. But if you give it some energy and it gets really hard, it breaks completely clean, see? It's like you broke a piece of plastic or something. Now we put it back and it's going to become that ball again. It's going to mix all, over to all together again. It's going to become one gooey piece of plastic again. So does it qualify as a non-Newtonian fluid uh, of what people have been asking and emailing me about? Yeah, probably. Um, but it's definitely not cornstarch. Uh, I'm not an engineer, but if you visit d3o.com, you can check out what some of this stuff is made of. What I like is that it bounces. It maintains the properties of rubber. And if you leave it alone, it goes back to its liquid state. Love playing with this stuff. I play for it. I play with it for hours, so it's great. Um, and if you want it to save your life, uh, it's better than no protection at all. Definitely get a helmet or a jacket with D3O in it. Check out our Armadillo Scooterwear line. It has D3O inside the jackets.